Davidas, I'm a confident man, but I am insecure about three different things. How my interpretive dance routine will be received by the local media, the compatibility of coffee mugs with microwaves, and my ability to shred guitar. Now, I am a professional guitar player, allegedly, but I've never really spent any time learning how to shred. I've always had great respect for it, but I've never actually taken the time to try it. Mm -hmm. You, I think, are the finest shredder in all the land. <laughs> so I have searched far and wide to get you here to show me some tips because Sweetwater has sponsored an entire month of me practicing one to two hours every night, no exceptions, for 30 days at least to learn shred guitar. And I'm just gonna be documenting all this, but I need you to just give me some tips. I have some questions about it. Uh, and what do you what do you think is what, what can I do? How do I how do I how do I do this? First of all, I would change the thought process of you thinking that it's a it's a shred. It's usually the skill is to come up with melodies in your head then translate them into playing. And shredding component would be uh, a speed at which you do that. It's not just this speed. It's the speed that... And you can translate it to this. Okay. So you, you, you work on that. Now, there are good place to start are mindless exercises and just knowing every possible shape, inversion, alteration, augmented, diminished, whatever, of every scale there is. You, like, you, you gotta have this, like, chart it. It's like World of Warcraft, you know, when the little orcs start walking and then the light in, is on the map here and you have to send more orcs here to line up. So you have to have the whole map lit up. That makes a lot of sense, actually. At, I, at I, all I, I'm, down, I'm down with that one. Okay, okay. okay. All right. World cool. of Warcraft, uh -huh. okay. All right. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> warm-up. There's a warm-up to... Uh, to uh, okay, just like an athlete, just like a, okay, you're you're a basketball athlete. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you stretch before? A little bit. I'm not great at it. Do you warm up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Shoot around. Get, get, yeah. get it loose. Start get it doing loose, it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then you know that the season's coming up, and there's gonna be league games. Is there like even more prep? Sure. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. So so get it's, a, I get a B12 shot before the game. Come out there as a monster. Yeah. Like what? yeah, I get B12 shots too. <laughs> So what's your warm up? What's your warm up personally? What do you do? It takes about less than 10 minutes. If I pick up a guitar cold, and I don't mean like cold as in room temperature, but cold as in I just haven't played it and this is the first time today okay. I am playing it. Mm -hmm. You know, so so I, my probably I start with like a Ionian mm -hmm. three notes per string. I get the feel for the guitar, and then I, 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 I do it for about 10 minutes. And then all the neural pathways, they like, they light up, and they're like, okay, we do remember how to play guitar. Okay, so you say in one shape to warm up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one shape. Like, don't, don't overthink it, Yeah, because this is your warm-up. Okay. At it, the end of this video, by the way, I'm going to teach that shape three notes per string in a very i'm just gonna break it down super slow because i think one of the one of the hard things about understanding how to do stuff like this is when you see people do it you can't watch them do it and learn a lot because it happens so fast right that that's been my problem like trying like how like how is he doing that and then they just like shred through it so fast i can't even like really recreate it so everything he's gonna teach me i'm gonna try to slow down for my own benefit and also potentially for yours if you're interested in kind of doing this with us Okay. All right. So that's just like a that's the that's the warm up. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah the warm up and I go go back and forth and then there'll there'll be problematic areas. Uh, so uh, if you start with a downstroke, this is fine. Uh, the problem starts when you start on the string with upstroke and when you're going to switch strings it's going to be this to this 
it's much greater distance as opposed to, uh, you know, this to this. It's much closer together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So problematic areas would be, so this is fine. This is the problem. This is the problem. And I really try to work on the problematic. Like you didn't notice, but I flipped. I like I I, I did a like double. Two downs in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It, it's 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 a. It, that's why people do economy picking. I'm not a fan of economy picking, because then it's too restrictive on the melodies that you can think of. Because then now you have to think of this. I don't want to think of this. I want to think of the musicality. So mm -hmm. I don't do economy picking. It's just up and down. And if accidentally I do something double time to compensate for it, it's fine. Now economy picking, if you don't know, like if you're downstroking the D string, right? And then your next stroke should be an upstream. It doesn't D string. You just go down on D and then also down on G instead of alternating every time. So it's, don't don't learn that. It's a waste of time. Oh man, I feel like there might be some shade on that comment. <laughs> okay, but what, post, do, but what do I know? Post a video. It's, oh, the man called him out. <laughs> <laughs> all your all you salty economists, economist pickers out there. Link your video in the and comments. And, and, then, and then we'll review it. All right, excellent, cool. One of my main questions is, and again, so uh, by the way, Sweetwater sponsored this video. We are using the Stramberg uh, Bowden guitar. Mm -hmm. This is seven string. NX, Bowden NX. That's right. I want, not, not only because I'm just trying to copy him and everything that he does. Now we're, now we're Bowden brothers, right? <laughs> We said uh, the Fishman Fluence pickups, mm -hmm. which I've heard by all accounts are just like amazing. I also wanted a seven string up because I've never played a seven string before and I want to get outside of my comfort zone, right? And learning three notes of string, I think is a great way to do that because like he said, he advises recommend, you know, recommending the three notes per string technique because you can build speed easier, which already makes a lot of sense to me. Like uh, if I were just to play A major, in the old days, I would go like middle pinky, index, middle pinky, index, ring pinky, index, ring pinky, middle pinky, index, like that, right? Which is fine, you know, like it worked and that kind of helped me learn guitar. But I think for this, when you have this kind of shape, I can already tell that like I'm getting faster and more economical, even though it's not economy picking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first question for you was that for that, for like, all right, if we start on the fifth fret to the seventh fret to the ninth fret, you told me that I should go pointer finger, middle finger, finger yes, instead of pointer finger, ring finger. Yeah. And that at first was like a that was a challenge for me to do because I've mm -hmm. never really used a whole step between mm -hmm. two fingers before. Mm -hmm. But again, that's something that you recommended. That's yeah, because of reach. Uh, so, yeah, naturally, if you to slap your hand on the table, there is a natural greater separation between these two because the way of tendons are connected. Uh, like. Um, you know you can uh, you can you can you know move these you know pretty independently now these there's a problem by <laughs> you know there any of you who study anatomy in school or just google it look up the way the tendons are wired of the hand and so there's more independence over here than it is here hmm. yeah and yeah. You, you can you know and don't use any tools to stretch your fingers. It happens very slowly. Two months, maybe three months, depending on how you practice. You know, and then, you know. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> That's insane. We're, we're doing this. Uh, we were comparing our reach earlier. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I've got, I feel like, you know, I'm, a, I'm playing guitar for a while. There we go. First fret to the sixth fret. Is that a cantina song? Dun, dun, dun. I know what I hear. I'm listening. It kind of sounded like it's it. Sure, it started, it started good, and then it went off the rails. That's fine. But yeah, that, that reach was embarrassing compared to his. It's ridiculous, guys. Just trust me. I was surprised. You don't really practice two metronome that often. Mm -mm. Yeah, what do you, how, what's your practice session like? I watch a movie. <laughs> it's usually two hours. And I just, uh, and it varies on how interesting or boring the part is in the movie. Mm -hmm. So if it's very interesting. Like 
eat, pray, love. That's yeah. Uh, if it's boring. arpeggios because they take a little bit more attention seems like it and then uh if it's a quiet part in the movie uh and i need to hear what they're saying then i do uh, hammer-ons and pull-ups you know just like... And then that's us. Action again. And just to be clear, he's not doing this while watching a movie at home. He's at the cinema. No! With a, with a practice amp in the, back, in the back row. No. Just shredding. And I also do it unplugged. So, so the actual, this is what I'm hearing. Because I already know how, how guitar sounds. You know? So, mm -hmm. so it's... And especially... And another thing I would recommend for everyone. Do you have a clean setting? Yes. The absolute, absolute cleanest the, the clean. clean. All right, I'll, I'll turn the other amp on. All right, so we're going to go into the Fender. It's kind of loud. All right. Yeah. Is that all right? Practice clean. The cleanest clean. The, the, the freaking laundry, freaking detergent. then you can hear every deficiency and then you know exactly which areas to work on. But then it's less fun. <laughs> no, you can make it fun. You can add reverbs and delays. There we go. Okay. You know. I like it. Also, so again, this video is sponsored by Sweetwater and Fishman, which is a Fishman Fluence pickups. Well, it's... You're getting... Sp <laughs> <laughs> What's a win for me is a win for us. Okay, okay, oh yeah. That's how, how that all works. Alright, alright, alright. Can you can you walk me through these fluence pickup because it's a it's push pull and there's three spots each right and yeah so because you you used the fluence pickups before when they're fully pushed down it's a humbucker all the way everything's mm -hmm. a humbucker it's a pull up and it's a single coil voicing kind of sound however unlike real single coils at this point with uh, distortion overdrive you'd be picking up uh, AM radio uh, because these are active pickups you will not be picking up AM radio. Ah. So it's cleaner. Okay. Interesting. That's pretty much it. Super clean. So you can have a single in here and humbucker here. Oh or you can have a single in here and humbucker here. Or you can have both singles. Yeah. I love it. Cool. Well, I'm going to get practicing on some of these things. Like I said, there's going to be a bunch of videos uh, that I'm going to make throughout the month. Kind of just like showing the exercises that I'm just stealing from him. How I'm going to get better at them. And then maybe even get some more pro tips from the man himself and kind of talk about the the things that I'm stumbling through just because, again, this is a whole new way to practice for me. My, my whole thing has just mostly been like learning, writing, playing songs, like from an accompaniment standpoint. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of like blues pentatonic soloing things. So I'm excited to try it. So uh, thanks Tyler, for stopping by and kind of showing us some stuff. And now let's uh, go for some for some of the lessons coming up right now. All right, so I'm going to recap super slow motion some of these exercises that uh, I'm learning from Davi. And I'm actually going to have the actual footage of me practicing some of these if you want to play along on my Patreon. On that, I'm actually going to do it on a six-string guitar just in case, you know, I, I feel like more people do have six strings than seven strings. But I, I can always switch that up. So let me know in the comments if you kind of like to see more seven-string guided play-along stuff or, like I said, the six-string stuff on the Patreon. So we're going to do this in the key of A, all right? Now, I'm still thinking in six string mode. So I think of an A as the fifth fret on the low E string, right? But now I have this low B string. But we're still gonna play the notes in the A major scale starting on the low B string. So what we have, the entire shape is gonna look like this. So if we kind of number those out, I'll just call out the fret names uh, by the string. So the low B starts 
five seven nine five seven nine five seven nine six seven nine six seven nine seven nine ten seven nine ten okay so uh, a lot of what I'm going to be practicing is just forward and backwards until I can get this shape under my fingertips into my muscle memory. And again, a lot of people, the, the complaint I hear about shredding is it's not musical. You can just kind of like hear the, hear the shapes going all over the place. Musicality is obviously the end goal, but I feel like before I can even get there, I have to really wrap my head around just playing three notes of string. Okay, so again, the whole scale, seven string. If you don't have a seven string, just start there. All right, so... Okay, you gotta have like massive delay and like reverb on and stuff otherwise. Are you even practicing shredding? Am I right? So again, that's just one shape forward and backward, okay? I think uh, the other thing that uh, Davi was saying is instead of just doing it like, like back, is to kind of take something that you would maybe use more in context. So the next thing I'm gonna work on is gonna be just taking the B and the E string and moving through those different shapes from here up to here, okay? So again, three notes of string. If we start on the third fret of the B string, which is a D, in the A scale, we would get something that looks like this. Okay, so that would be three, five, seven, four, five, seven. See, and then I start to get sloppy when I get too fast, so that means I have to slow it down, right? I, or I could go. Right? Now, what I want to eventually do is move this up to the next spot. So what that's going to look like is this. Okay, so I my, my challenge to myself is trying to get consistent with the fingers that I use. And right there, even just doing this on camera, I notice that I'm using different fingers. So it's something I'm going to actually work on and drill out of my muscle memory. But what I'm starting here is I'm taking the three, five, seven, four, five, seven, and then moving one note up. So remember, the second note in each of these is three, five, seven, four, five, seven. So the next step up, the first note is gonna be the fifth fret. And now we have a symmetrical shape where it's five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, right? So. And then instead of going forward and backwards, I could just practice on this forward. Remember, I've been using this uh, this Electron drum machine to kind of give me like a metronome. So I could just go. Or I could. There's a lot of different ways that I can kind of cut it up within that. But what I want to do is I want to go into the next shape. So. Remember, we said it's just two whole steps, it's symmetrical. So I can go up this shape. Slide into this backwards. So again, three, five, seven, four, five, seven, same finger, nine, seven, five, nine, seven, five. Then I can do it with the metronome. Okay, now that's not my entire goal though. I want to keep going through it, all right? So, the whole thing, if I go through all the shapes, it'll look like this. Three, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, seven, nine, ten, seven, nine, ten, nine, ten, twelve, nine, ten, twelve, ten, twelve, fourteen, ten, twelve, fourteen, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, A. 
Okay, so I'll do that super soft. You wanna follow along? And then just kind of get this under your muscle memory. Like I said, just one position at a time is I think the best way to practice it. I've been doing this for a few days already, which is why I think I have this part down, at least conceptually. Three, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, seven, nine, the same. Seven, nine, ten, the same. Nine, ten, twelve, same. Ten, twelve, fourteen, same. 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 16, 17, uh, which again is the A. That's why it, it sounds good when we just kind of go, or where was I? I think that's a good place to kind of stop, right? So. Not perfect, but I think it's kind of getting there. Uh, the beautiful thing about seven notes, or <laughs> seven notes of string, three notes per string, is that there's so much symmetry that eventually it kind of just gets into your muscle memory, right? Like, aside from the first part where it's... How the first note is kind of offset. We have a D here and a G sharp here. And then we have this run where it's the same interval, right? Two whole steps each, then the next one, whole step and a half step each. This might look like the minor scale shape for people who've done that before, right? And then the next one, it's a half step and a whole step each. And the next one, two whole steps each. And then we go back to, there's that D and the G sharp, which you already saw. Is the whole thing. So again, there's there's an infinite amount of exercise. However, you want to do it. Like I said, I'm going to post some of these on the Patreon. I don't want to bore you through the whole process, but I'm going to keep you posted because these are just two of the things that I've been working on. Slowed down, just going. that entire shape in this position I'm gonna add more positions as we go along through the month and then ah. so you can tell it's like I know it but you can hear that there's some hesitation in my fingers at the moment and that's something that I'm gonna drill out of my playing. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see how I keep doing. Thank you again to Sweetwater and Fishman for sponsoring this video. Like I said, these Fishman Fluence pickups are awesome. Uh, they sound great clean too, which you're gonna hear a lot more of them on this channel. So if you have any questions about uh, the pickups or anything like that too, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Maybe I can answer on a QA or an upcoming video. And like I said, any questions or whatever, this is gonna be a, a bit of a long-term project. So I'm happy to have you guys kind of join me on this journey to Shredville. Thanks so much.